present plays from the four corners of the world. Comedy, drama, suspense, true life adventure in Tuesday Theatre. This morning, View from the Train by Malcolm Esther Hazen, produced by Andre Botmer. That's it, then. You guys are better split now. You'll never make it through the crowd. You said it, eh? Okay, Nick. <laughs> Take it easy. Have a good trip, man. Yeah, yeah, drop yeah. a card from Dirt. Sure, sure. See you guys. Good luck with the bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got two days to make a score. <laughs> oh, come on. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. Discover White Gold in Benson and Hedges Special Mild. Now South Africa's best-selling mild cigarette. So move to mildness and stay with taste. Benson and Hedges Special Mild. It's bonus and it's sweet, share to behold. Enjoying the taste of white gold, the whole world sold. Is a boodschap wat gaan oor niks, geen kriesel, glad geen, nul, zero. Die 0% cholesterol, margarine, olei. Help om die cholesterol vlak van jou die eet te verlaag met olei margarine. Niks anders sas goeie, gezonde smaak nie. Lexington, from Riggio Tobacco Corporation of New York, alive with flavor. An honest to goodness American blend that's alive with real flavor, friend. You can't smoke better than number one, so man, relax with a Lexington. Lexington, that's the one for after action satisfaction. Blend it here for rich, real tobacco flavor. Lexington has got it all. Lexington, that's the one. Stuart, please, uh, vodka with lime and ice, thanks. Hello there. What? Oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, but you were far away. Mind if I join you, hey? Sure. Uh, sit down. Can I get you something? Oh, yeah. Cane and Coke. Cane and Coke? Yeah, please. Your drink, sir. Uh, oh, thanks. One Cane and Coke for the lady, please. Oh, I'm so glad I found someone to talk to. Oh? Yeah. yeah. This train is only dead, eh? It's like nobody alive. No, no one at all. Tell me, what you do then? You look like you just come out the army. Good guess. Your drink, lady. Oh, uh, thanks, Stuart. Here you are. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, you bought me a drink, and I don't even know your name. <laughs> it's Nicky. What's yours? I'm Judy. Hello. <laughs> Cheers, Nicky. Cheers. It's nice to meet people on the train, eh? You don't feel so lonely. You said it. <laughs> Are you kidding? I can hardly stand myself. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's nice, Nicky. Oh, you're strong, eh? <laughs> Must be the army. My compartment isn't far. <laughs> you want to come in for a while, Nicky? There are other people in your compartment, Trudy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Maybe we can find an empty compartment. Look, we're both pretty tired. <laughs> You mean drunk? <laughs> yeah, that too. I think we ought to go to bed. Hey, man. 
man. <laughs> You're a quick worker. Uh, no, Trudy. I'm into our own beds. Oh. And uh, see you around, huh? Maybe tomorrow. Is it? I think that's your compartment. Yeah? I think so. Well, I hope so. Well, second thoughts, I don't. Oh. Bunch of dead bees in there. Like a Salvation Army hostel. <laughs> Go on. Can't really be as bad as that in there. The bunks are awfully snug and warm. Oh, sounds good. Why aren't you in there, then? In my compartment, you mean? Yeah. Just get in a little bit of fresh air and some quiet before I go to bed. <laughs> Not much fresh air out here. Arctic wind. Cool night. It's very beautiful. Not much quiet either. Places crawling with loudmouth drunks. <laughs> oh? You really like it out here? I like it out there. But you're in here. That's why I like it out there. Yeah. Oh, you're wrong. Well, there's so much out there, really. The only pity is we're going much too fast. Can somebody turn the light out? No. No, the dark is part of it. Because you have to fill in the blanks. Huh? The felt is a gloom. And the lonely farmhouses are a blur. And the night is huge and black. Yeah? And now and again, oh, so seldom that it's special... There's a light on in a window in a faraway farmhouse. And you wonder about, about who's in the room and, and what they're doing and what the room looks like. <laughs> Sometimes starlight flashes off the blades of a windmill or a sleeping black dam. And there are frightening moments when suddenly something appears close by, barely discernible in the night. A tree or a dark building or... Or some animals standing like grey statues. They're all whipped away so quickly. The wonder is that you've seen them. It's like another world. You really see all that out there? Oh, yes. But more than that. What else? Well, it's not just those things. Well, it's the night they're in. And the train, and our passing, and... The atmosphere, sort of? Yes. Yes, I think so. I reckon that atmosphere's not out there. It's in you. Hmm? Oh, I don't know. Otherwise, everybody would see all that. But they don't. You do. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I must go. Yeah. I'm pretty lousy company. Oh, no. No, truly you're not. I just talk too much. I guess you've got a lot to say. Good night. You really should go to bed, you know. Okay. But I think I'll just stick around and look at some of that other world of yours. Got nothing else to do? What time is it? Uh, six o'clock, sir. <coughs> six o'clock? Oh. Uh, I'll have some coffee, please. You have any black? Lots of sugar. Uh, here you are, sir. Three packets. That's 29 cents, sir. Uh, here. Is, is, is that right? 29 cents? <coughs> yes, sir. That's right. Um, anyone else? Tea? Coffee? Well, get up, man! Hey, hey wh why aren't we moving? The train's in the station, sir. Kimberley. Uh. Here. Good 
Good morning. I hope you're feeling very much better this morning. Um, not exactly. <laughs> Listen, uh, please, uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for last night. I must have really bugged you, you know, real drunk. Oh, no, no, you, you didn't at all. You've been kind, I know, but I must apologize. <laughs> right then, if you feel better for it. Now, can we forget it? Sure, thanks. Listen, I, I feel I owe you something. Can I, uh, can I interest you in a cold drink? That uh, little shop over there probably sells them. <laughs> it's very nice of you, but should you? You mean in my state? <laughs> oh, why not? It couldn't make me feel any worse. Probably sort me out. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, then. I'd love some. Train's leaving. Oh no! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sure, I, I... Hey, I'm glad I found you, Nicky. I was getting so bored. Oh? Who's that girl, eh? Not really your type. Too quiet, huh? Come on, the saloon car will be opening any minute now. Look, Trudy, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not at all well. What's the matter, Nicky? <laughs> Hangover, no, huh? Not really. You, you see, Trudy, there's something I haven't told you. I've just spent a long time in hospital and I'm not fully recovered yet. The girl who just left me, she's a nurse. She's travelling with me just to keep an eye on me. Y you know, in case I have a fit or something. A fit? Oh, they're not really serious. It's just Listen, that every now and then... I think you'd better take it easy for a while. Lie down or something, I can Maybe I'll see you around and you feel a little better. Uh, fine, Trudy. I'll, I'll see you then. Instead of bombarding you with an advertising message, we're going to play you a nice, soothing piece of music. Makes you think of rolling countryside. And thick cream, creamy milk and butter and cheese, fresh from the farm. Which reminds me... Dairy Bell! That name ring a bell? Good. For the freshness of dairy products straight from the farm. Have the Ting Tong Day Dairy Bell! Take the Ford Bantam's proven economy. Take its nippy, zippy road holding. Take its rugged reliability. And take its handsome styling and outstanding engineering. Now add the power of Ford's proven 1600 CVH engine. And what do you get? You get the explosive new Ford Bantam 1600L. And you'll get it under 8,000 Rand exclusive at your Ford dealer. So get a load of the new Bantam 1600L at your Ford dealer now. Have you driven a Ford lately? Look, I may be a part-time career woman, but I'm a full-time mom. So I need a margarine that's good for more than one thing, too. Stalk. You should just see how easily it spreads, even straight from the fridge. The kids think it tastes terrific, and I agree. I'll tell you something else about stalk. You can't beat it for good results in cooking and baking. And isn't it nice to know it's got vitamins? Yeah, all round, it's a sensible buy. Stalk SB. Makes sense to me. Hello, Nicky. Oh, hi, Pauline. Have you 
you've been here all the time, looking out of the window? Yes. It's so different during the day. One can hardly believe it's the same countryside. Uh, Paulina, about that girl, It's I... none of my business, Nicky. You're right. Look, uh, you, you travelling alone? Why do you ask? Well, I'm a standard question. Standard question? Oh, sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. I'm, I'm a terrible cynic. Look, I'm, I'm not trying to pick you up like that or anything. Like what? Oh, hell, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know like what, like like anything. It... <laughs> Let's start again, huh? Why? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I... You ask the damnedest question. Well, it seems a very logical question to me. I, I, I like your company. I, I, I'd like to spend some time with you. Don't ask me why again. I don't know why. I, I'm not even interested why. I, I just want to spend some time with you. Really? Of course, really. Why else would I ask? I don't know. I reckon you're also a little cynical. I suppose I am. Well, then. All right. I'd be glad if you'd keep me company. Well, thank you. Why do you smile? You have the quaintest way of putting things. Oh, quaint? Never mind. Let's not spoil things with analysis. Just talk. I'll wrap it up. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Neither am I, really. But it's nice all the same. You're not playing with me, are you? Teasing you? Please, you mustn't. Oh, come on. I, I wouldn't, you know. Not you. But if I did, you'd know I wouldn't hurt you. What shall we do then? The saloon should be open. You like a drink? Oh, it's early. We've got all day. Suddenly, all day doesn't seem so long. Now is where it's at, Nicky. With some people, it's nice to make now last. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this Carew really grabs you, Pauline. Hmm? Really? Oh, it's such a pull. I've never found words for it. Oh, I know what you mean. It all lies out there under the sun, peeling away and away. Yeah. It's a new morning and everything's still sort of quiet. <laughs> Look at that bucky ripping up the dust there. And that's part of it too. Hey, I remember something from a poem. Hmm? Yet I long for trackless spaces where the leaping springbuck roam for the stillness and the vastness and the distances of home. That's from a poem by Francis Warren. Nicky, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm not very good company, that's all. Oh, I, I dream and I drift and, and I'm not at all a swinger. I don't like to drink or anything like that. You're going to have a terribly boring time with me. I like you, Pauline. I want to be with you. And I'll take my chances. I'll scream when I've had enough, if you'll do the same. I'm sorry. Shall we give the saloon car a try? It's only beer. It's bitter. <laughs> Just at first. When it hits your tongue, then it gets round and mellow. It even looks good when you look at it in the sunlight. Mmm, amber. Yes, but always with that coolness there, that promise. <sighs> Pay me for them, Nicky. Thought I said something there. Thought I recognized someone. Someone I know? Yes. You. Cool and steady. But not Amber. Grey and blue. Grey eyes and blue dress. Amber has depth straight away. You have to look for it in grey and blue. That's the promise. Don't. Please. Sorry. Didn't mean to push it. Stuff? Lettuce? Yeah, tastes like tin foil and dewdrops. <laughs> no, I like it. Oh, that was a town, that was. Oh, so quick. And those people will be there all day in the sun and all that space. But we won't. We'll be here. Where it's at. Oh, yes. We'll always be here. And always reaching out for what flashes past. Do you reach out, Pauline? Sometimes. Don't you? Mostly I just look and think about it. I mean... This is the track we're on. We can always get off. The train's moving. So you're saying don't reach out? No. I'm saying reach out for something that's on the train. Be 
please, Nicky. Do you really mind? I don't know. Your hand also has promise. It's cool, but slowly it comes through. The warmth, the amber. No. behind us and an afternoon in the Karoo ahead of us. Mm, sounds lovely. So much breathless heat. So much space. Mm. So much sky. Mm. Wow. Mm, I'm a bit drowsy. Mm, so am I. Do you object to being alone with me? It's good to be alone with you. Holding your hand. But this is a corridor. Some of them unlocked. Pauline, will you stay? Yes. Whose coupe is this? Nobody's. Ours. Make yourself at home. May I lie down? Do. Here. Like this. Is my head heavy? It's a nice weight. I'll let you know when my leg gets numb. You've got nowhere to put your arm. So slow and lazy. You going to sleep? Mm-mm. Just hovering. Slow and lazy. I don't want to sleep. Feel good? Mm, very. So relaxed. The train seems to crawl, winding slowly this way and that. Everything crawls over this much space. Except time. No, it's where it's at. Then. You were going to make now last. Do you want it to? I always want it to. Now? This time? Yes. Now. Uh, hey. You know. Yes. Yes. Slowly, Polly. Like the train. Long and slow and winding in the heat. Slowly. And now we last. Yay, jouw wasautomaat, den skip.
Vir my is dit een wensman. Meneer John Eneer, gemakkingsdirecteur van Ocean. Die Ocean 516 wasautomaat bespaar rente, is economisch en ten volle bekwaam om uitstekende resultaten te bied. Toetsen het bewys dat skip die wasboeie is wat zulke resultaten verkry. Skip word aanbeveel door Ocean en alle vervaardigers van wasautomaten. Dus vorm jy, jou wasautomaat en skip. Een wensman vir onoortreflike witheid, onoortreflike helderheid. A cigarette is only as good as its tobacco. Enjoy the cream of the crop in Rembrandt van Rey. Each cigarette a masterpiece. When you're hot and thirsty, reach out for Sprite. It's pure refreshment, so reach out for Sprite. It's cool, crisp and clear, the flavor is light. Refreshing the taste, gives more to Sprite. When you're reaching for more, reach for Sprite. When you're reaching for more, reach for Sprite. Hi, hello there. Oh, hi. Doing without your nurse, eh? No. I get off the train. Half an hour back. Is that right? Of course. Some little dope. But she was going to the same place I was going. She must have changed her mind. You think so? No. She didn't change her mind. She just got off the train, that's all. She'll be there all night. But I won't. You'll be here on the train. Reaching out. For what flashes past. Hey, why don't you reach for something that's on the train? I did. But it's not on the train anymore. It's back there. Back then. Huh? I don't understand. No. You sound crazy. You need your nurse. I reckon. have just listened to Malcolm Esther Hazen's View from the Train, starring Glyn Day as Nicholas and Sutra as Pauline. Karen Short appeared as Trudy and Errol Hart as the steward, with Kiki Savajan and Henry Cameron. Production team, Alan Raby and Luki Ulafir. View from the Train was directed and produced by Andre Botmer. Listen again at the same time next week when we shall bring you another comedy, drama, or play of suspense in Tuesday Theatre.